It's time for a special edition of Reply Al. On his show last night, Bill O'Reilly was apparently offended that I called him out for labeling some of America's poor as, quote, parasites. So he tried to defend himself by revealing something I've never shared with the public either that he once donated money to my nonprofit to help provide gifts and foods to kids at Christmas. So I gave Sharpton a $25,000 donation to provide the gifts and the food. I never mentioned it because it wasn't necessary to mention it. But now it is to prove exactly what kind of person Al Sharpton is. Bill doesn't realize it, but this story actually reveals what kind of person he is. It says more about him than it does me because Bill gave that money privately to someone he's publicly called, quote, a race hustler working in what he calls the grievance industry. That's the term that he uses for civil rights work that I do. What are we supposed to think about a man who privately is generous? but who says the most vile and divisive things in public. Why would Bill quietly donate that money to my group while loudly telling his right-wing audience that this is what he thinks of me? And Al Sharpton in the grievous industry, strike back. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. What the grievance industry does want is to divide the country along racial lines. The tide may be turning against the Sharptons and the race hustlers in general. The race hustlers and their sympathizers have descended into the gutter. This is the worst kind of gut gutter talk. But if Bill really thinks that about me, why did he agree to speak at a conference for my civil rights group, the National Action Network, a few years ago? Look, there he is at a convention for the grievance industry. And why would Bill give a so-called race hustler $25,000 to help the poor at Christmas? And why would he write a check to help people that he's called parasites who just want stuff? The Obama administration is encouraging parasites to come out and, you know, take as much as they can. The majority of blacks want money spent to level the playing field, to redistribute income from the white establishment. And there are 50 percent of the voting public who want stuff. They want things. And who is going to give them things? President Obama. The sad truth. The sad truth is the good that Bill did with the check he wrote is far away by the vile and hateful things he says on the air, night after night. Bill is playing to the extremist in his audience, and it shows. It shows what's wrong with the right wing today. They can't disagree without being disagreeable. They have to make personal attacks on anyone who has a different point of view. And it's not just me, it's true of everyone, from Sandra Fluke to President Obama. That needs to change. America is better than this. And I hope my friends on the right are better than that, too. All right, that's enough for tonight. That's it for tonight's show.